The State Library of North Carolina issued some CARES grants and various library systems actually wound up writing them for hotspots since it was such a large need in North Carolina and there were so many families without internet and we were awarded $75,000 which got us roughly 200 hotspots to distribute. We are distributing hotspots to students and families with Kannapolis City Schools who do not have that capability at home. Internet is still not universal, whether it's an affordability issue, whether it's just a reception issue. North Carolina in general, we still have a lot of rural areas that do not have stellar connection capabilities. So kind of overcoming these challenges is something that a lot of public library systems are trying to do in North Carolina right now to help the students learn because we know the further they get behind this year, the harder it will be to catch up. This year is difficult enough already without having to miss a lot of school. So if the only missing link was internet, we've now taken care of that. They can check out ebooks and e-audiobooks. They can use our encyclopedias online. They can use all of those valuable resources that the library already offers without even having to leave their home. So it, it doesn't necessarily replace schoolwork or, you know, the need for teachers, but it does supplement that with reliable electronic resources that are coming from a trustworthy source. We will probably wait a few more weeks and make sure that all students are taken care of. And then if we do have any leftover after that, we'll reevaluate and potentially look at uh, checking those out to the general public.